Hi, this is Renee and I'm going to do a quick walkthrough on how I relocated my wordpress.org website across to wordpress.com. So I've run professionalparentsnetwork.org for uh, around about six, six years or more now. And this is both a blog, a website, an organization that I have started. And I have um, written a lot of profiles. Uh, I used to run a series of events in um, Brisbane in Australia. Then I moved across to the Netherlands. Uh, I don't use this site a lot at the moment, but I'd like to become a bit more active with it. And there's a lot on there about work-life balance that's been useful to me to learn and sharing with other parents. At the moment, I've been hosting it with a, uh, a small uh, local business. I was paying uh, a fair bit each year to have it hosted, and I've been paying around about 20 euros per year for the URL. I've decided to shift everything across to wordpress.com and this is the way that I did that. So firstly, I signed into my wordpress.com account where I have several, uh, several different um, websites. I had already connected this original one and I had a separate account already set up, which was actually the original one before I went across to .org, which was professionalparents.wordpress.com. So what I've learned from many, many hours of going through this in the last few days is firstly, you need like a place to bring across your website to. Now this could be anything. I could actually scroll down um, or, or up here, uh, switch site and do a brand new site if I wanted to. But because I already had professionalparents.wordpress.com, it made sense to put things in there. So all I did was logged into the dashboard here and I exported this whole site, which took literally minutes. Uh, I've got around 200 posts in there. And then I went here and I imported it. Um, and it all happened really quite quickly. The thing that didn't import across was my stats, but through the chat service here, I spoke to WordPress and because I had the original site connected already to Jetpack, um, they were able to just bring my stats across for me, which was great because you can see here, I've had around about, you know, 10,000 views a year through 2012, 13, 14, 15. Um, I've not done a lot with it. I've been uh, busy working and studying the last couple of years, but I'd like to start using this site again. So I imported all of my posts and my pages. Uh, the only thing is that this site here, which is my original site, I've been using a theme called Divi, which I can no longer use on the cheaper WordPress plans that I want to. If you want to use your own uh, theme that you want to bring into WordPress.com, you need to pay around about 300 um, euros a year, and I'm not willing to do that on this site. So it has automatically put it just into a random um, theme template here, which makes it look a little bit messy, but with a, a bit of time, I can get that um, looking neater again. Um, so that's how I did it. It wasn't nearly as complicated as I thought. I have already brought across two other sites, um, two of my other sites, which are Culture and Kids and Kids English Club. Uh, this is the third site that I've brought across to WordPress.com. And I'm about to bring over my other site, Zesty and Dutch Australian. Uh, I'm not sure if this video is enough step by step for anybody that wants to, to go through this process, but maybe it will save you a little bit of time um, or just knowing that, that, that it has been done. So I also teach uh, e-business at the Hague University of Applied Sciences. So this may be of interest to some of my students. And I like to also just record screencast for myself to go back to because I've spent hours trying to figure this stuff out. So this is a bit of a kind of um, visual verbal note taking as well. So that is how I have moved a site across from this professionalparentsnetwork.org, which is a wordpress.org self-toasted site. And I've moved it across into a wordpress.com, professionalparents.wordpress.com. The next step that I'm in the process of taking is in here in the plan with the domains is bringing my domain across from GoDaddy. So this transfer is in progress. 
and WordPress has some great help documents that you can help um, with that. And to do so, I've had to upgrade um, to a plan. So I'm on a personal WordPress.com uh, personal plan. So that's how I've done it. If you're working on your website as well, I wish you all the best with it.